Imagine owning a twin-engine cabin boat equipped with the latest electronics, central air conditioning, and a Coast Guard-approved waste treatment system. Now imagine being able to tow that boat 70 miles an hour anywhere you want to go. Where do you imagine you'd go first? May I make a few suggestions? You could tow her to Apalachicola and cruise to New Orleans, tow her to Fort Myers and cruise to Tarpon Springs, or maybe even tow her to Key West and cruise to Cuba. We've done all that and more. Bit by bit, we've enjoyed cruising all the navigatable waterways of Florida, both salt and fresh. And towing her first to Jacksonville and then to Cape Fear, North Carolina, we've cruised the entire ICW all the way to Chesapeake Bay. You'd never have time to do all this with a big cruiser that can't be trailered. I have to admit, the Comfortably Numb did look kind of funny docked next to all the 150-foot mega yachts at Atlantis and Nassau, but she's plenty seaworthy for cruising anywhere in the Bahamas you'd like to go. In fact, with her two-and-a-half-foot draft, you can go more places than most. We were planning to go to Eleuthera this summer, but now we can't make it. Maybe you can go instead. Or maybe you'd prefer hanging here, serving drinks off the swim platform, and playing with the kids, and just chilling in true comfortably numb fashion. Whether sunbathing or stargazing, the totally flat, super cushy, king-size deck pad is a luxury you won't find anywhere else. And the two pads against the windshield double as a backrest here and filler cushions when making the dinette into a bed. And check out the stainless bow pulpit with four fenders conveniently mounted on either side. This $8,000 custom top is lightweight, waterproof, and rugged enough to use as a ladder if you find yourself tied up to a high dock. The cockpit area is open to accommodate fishing, diving, tubing, or any other activity you can think of. Or add deck chairs, coolers, and whatnot for an adventure cruise or weekend hanging on the hook. See how the captain's chair flips to face the cockpit party when not underway? And check out the transom shower. You'll love being able to rinse off the salt whenever you get out of the water. The rugged aluminum swim platform and ladder, which matches the cockpit rail, is all very spit and polished. Getting rid of teak was one of the first things we did for the numb. The helm station has state-of-the-art gauges, controls, electronics, brand new $800 Mercruiser throttles that are super smooth and precise. And this Garmin GPS, still under full warranty, was installed only a couple months ago. It's preloaded with extensive navigational charts and has the most sophisticated sonar technology available for the fishing and boating public. And just to prove we've thought of everything, here's your external VHS radio speaker so you can easily hear the chatter from other boaters when you're under power. The eyes and glass enclosure stays rolled up out of the way until you need it. Then one person on their own can get her buttoned up in under five minutes. And when cruising, just leave the front roll down and open the smiles. Those you can open and close in 30 seconds if weather suddenly turns bad. Now here's something you don't see every day. This custom Texaline sunshield is like a dense screen. You can see through it, gentle breezes pass through it, but the sun does not. Put up this sun shield and the comfortably numb remains 10 degrees cooler than everyone else. That's a promise. Now let's take a look below deck. Memory Foam V-Berth is cozy and comfy. Side ledges elevate duffel bags, etc. so you lose no sleeping space. Two large adults and two medium-sized dogs sleep together comfortably numb in this V-Berth so it's a lot bigger than it looks. You have high quality cabin speakers plus high powered satellite speakers for rock and beach parties. The door closes for privacy. DC fans provide a gentle breeze when you don't want to run the AC. And these AC and return air vents keep it refreshingly chill in even the hottest days. For sleeping comfortably numb all summer long, you'll really appreciate the 16,000 BTU central air with vents in the V-berth, midship, aft cabin, and head. Of course, it's also nice to open up and enjoy the cross breeze. This handy drop-down table provides an end table in the bow and gives you extra counter space in the galley. Moving into midship, we have the stereo with cockpit, interior, and satellite speakers. Large AC vent to keep everything refreshingly chill. The custom dinette has storage under both benches and the table drops down to form a bed. And here's the six foot bar for which the Comfortably Numb is famous. See how nicely the bottle's lined up, ready for easy retrieval? 
Across from the dinette is the galley with butane cooktop, microwave, and a surprising amount of room for storing dishes, pots and pans, etc. I store canned goods, chips, and other provisions in two big baskets slid under the V-berth. Super convenient for loading and unloading. Fold the back of the dinette down, you gain access to the 8 foot deep aft cabin. Plenty of room to sleep to and store duffel bags at the foot of the bed. Or remove the mattress and you have plenty of storage for three weeks of supplies. And behind door number two, we have the head. With lots of storage for cleaning products, toiletries and whatnot. Sink faucet pulls out for a handheld shower and you've got a porcelain head with electric flush and electrosan. The Electrosan Waste Treatment System treats each flush as waste is generated and then gets rid of it, which is a whole lot better than a stinky old holding tank you're always having to pump out. In the engine compartment is a Halon fire extinguishing system for the ultimate in boating safety. And here you have twin 470 Mercruiser engines, which are labeled 190. The carburetor is the only difference between the two models. The 470 has a two barrel and the 190 has a four barrel. When the engines were rebuilt in 2011, we ordered the parts to convert from a two-barrel carburetor to a four. Then we decided to stick with the two-barrel because it gets much better gas mileage. The mechanic already had new 190 stickers, so we put them on. But when all is said and done, the Comfortably Numb is powered by fuel-efficient twin 470 Merc Cruiser engines with counter-rotating Alford outdrives. She burns around one gallon an hour, a little more when carrying a heavy load, and she has a 140 gallon gas tank. Sticking with two barrel for greater fuel economy was a smart decision because these 18 by 12 Bennett trim tabs get the numb up on plane in a flash, even when she's loaded down with dinghy gear and provisions for two weeks of cruising. And you'll love the way she handles with these counter rotating alpha drives. The Comfortably Numb is actually a 1984 Chaparral, though you'd never know it. In 1996, we went to the boat show looking for a well-appointed cabin cruiser we could trailer. But there was no such boat, so we bought a 1984 Chaparral that had good bones and the best marine engines ever made. She was big enough to make comfortable, small enough to trailer, and launch with ease. She's 26 and a half feet, not including bow pulpit and swim platform. She has an 8 foot beam. She draws 2 and a half feet of water. She needs 13 feet of clearance when on the trailer, 9.5 feet of clearance in the water. Her trailer is also in peak condition. New brakes, bearings, and tires. The Comfortably Numb is ready to roll. And every time we bring the numb home, we back her into the neighborhood freshwater lake and run all of her systems for 15 minutes to flush out the salt. So she's held up like a freshwater boat. Then we park her in this garage, which we call the numb house because it was built especially for her. And there she stays safe from the elements until the next adventure. So if adventure and fun in the sun is what you seek, the comfortably numb is for you.